Hello, this is Furkan from Lahore Graphics Academy and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create draw navigation in React Native with the help of React Navigation version 6.x. So without any further delay, let's dive straight in. So this is the page that I'll be following. Uh, this is uh, an article written by me and the link is in the description. You can just visit this web page and follow along with the steps that I have written down. Uh, easy to understand and step by step breakdown of drawer navigation. So first you have to uh, create a React Native project or a simple blank folder so that we can follow along with the steps. So create a new folder. Mine is called React Native underscore navigation and I will be opening the terminal or the command line over here and I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio so as I said step number one is already done no need to perform it in my site you can run it and on your end I'm gonna start with expo init drawer copy this line paste it in the terminal this will create a drawer folder inside my already created folder which is react native underscore navigation choose the blank template and press enter it will install it will take its time and it will take about two to three minutes or um, even more if you're uh, depending on your connection internet connection so I'll get back to you once the installation is done the installation is done and now we are ready to move on to step three but before that I would like you to see the folder structure that just installed you know you can see it the, from the snippet on the website and you can see it over here on the um, Visual Studio so moving on to step number three we installed the react navigation straight away but for before that you have to change your directory so type in CD this time for change directory and then your folder name in my case it's drawer now we write the uh, install the react navigation so just simply copy and paste this line and press enter you will be able to simply um, it will install the dependencies and the react navigation so let's get back to you after it's done the installation is complete react native navigation is installed now we install its dependencies which is step number four so once again install or sorry copy the line mentioned here just copy it paste it in your terminal or command line and press enter and you will be able to install the dependencies for react navigation the installation is complete the dependencies are installed so let's see what is step number five now before this i would like to say that even though our react navigation is installed now what i like to do and that's from my personal experience is that i always check if the navigation is working by simply installing stack navigation because in installing draw navigation it usually takes a bit of um, a more code to write so just before writing the drawer or tab navigation quickly check the stack navigation and whether the react navigation is working or not so step number five and six are optional do it if you want to do it neatly or you can just skip it and install the drawer navigation so I'm gonna install the stack navigation open the terminal paste the line that I just copied and it should install the stack navigation the stack navigation is installed let's write some code in the app.js file simply copy and paste this line uh, this entire code copy it and move on to app.js file which you'll find in your folder and select everything you can remove each and everything that's already mentioned there and replace it with the one that we just copied save it open the terminal once again and start the server by typing npm start 
Once the server starts, you can open it on your Android by pressing A. That will open the emulator and you can check if your stack navigation is working or not. In my case, it is working because you can see that home screen is written, home is written at the top, the top padding is being provided which normally isn't the case in the default settings. So if the home is written at the top, it means your stack navigation is installed. So let's move on to the next step. Now we need to stop the server, press Ctrl C, it will stop the server and now we can install the drawer navigation commands and its dependencies which is step number 7. So copy this line, installing the drawer navigation right now, just paste it and press enter, it will install the drawer navigation and I'll get back to you once it's done. The drawer navigation is installed. Now we need to install the dependencies and for that we will go to step number 8 which is installing the dependencies, copy this line, open your terminal or visual studio and paste the line, press enter, it will install the dependencies. So basically um, installing navigation is nothing else but installing dependencies and libraries. That's all. Everything is done on its own. Moving on to step number nine, which is writing the code. We will copy entire code from this um, snippet. Copy it. Go to Visual Studio, app.js, and remove everything that was written there and paste from the code that we just copied. Save the file. Open the server once again by typing npm start and after writing npm start you can select android and after selecting android you can reload because previously it was uh, running the stack navigation so we need to reload it. And there you go you can see the sandwich button at the top that's our drawer and we have successfully installed the drawer navigation. Now in next tutorial we are going to learn how to create or customize the drawer navigation. If you find any errors or difficulties while installing drawer navigation, please let me know in the comments. I will be happy to answer them because there are a few errors that you might run into um, while installing the drawer navigation. But nothing to worry about, just leave it in the comment and I'll answer it. Thank you, see you next time.